Princess Lova and the Power of Friendship Once upon a time, in a sparkling kingdom named Dreamland, there lived a kind-hearted princess named Lova. Princess Lova was no ordinary princess. She was known far and wide for her magical long hair. It flowed down her back like a river of light, and she could sum unfluffy clouds or brighten the darkest night. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've been looking for a way to turn your creativity into a steady income, then today's video is for you, okay? We're talking about Amazon KDP, that's Kindle Direct Publishing, and I'll be showing you how to create and publish your very own picture book for kids and make money doing it. Plus, we'll explore how using a unique AI tool can make the process even easier for you. This tool will take out the struggle from you suddenly becoming an illustrator or even hiring a professional on Fiverr, Upwork, or any other freelancing websites available to you. And the truth is, they ain't even cheap. And this is how much you get to pay an artist to create you a picture book. And as a beginner, I guess you probably don't even have the budget to invest, right? Well, what matters is the uniqueness of your book. I mean, what makes your picture book unique is how you tell your story and the consistency in the book theme. And don't worry, we'll use a unique AI tool called Read Kids to get this done. From brainstorming ideas to making child-friendly illustrations and much more. Now, if you don't know what picture books are, these are books designed primarily for young children, typically aged between two and eight years old. Picture books use illustrations to tell a story, with each page featuring a large, colorful image alongside a few lines of text. I hope you get it. It's Christine here, and if you are new to my channel, please hit the like button and join the community. We are all about the best ways to make money online. Without further ado, let's get started. It's just four steps to creating our picture books for kids, okay? The first step in creating a picture book is choosing your idea. Picture books for children are all about engaging stories and vibrant illustrations. So think about what excites you. It could be an adventure, an educational theme, or even a heartwarming tale. And you can brainstorm using Read Kits, which has some fantastic tools for story creation and character development. Once you have got your idea and you are ready to bring it to life, just come over here to sign up. Now on this page, interestingly, you have the option to create a video in just a click, okay? But we'll focus on creating children's book for now. Once you click here, you'll be taken to this intuitive interface. It's super user-friendly. And over here, you'll find a variety of templates to help you create your storybooks. I'm just going to click on Create Book. And um, personally, I love starting from scratch. So go ahead and click on custom to start. Now here's where the fun begins. Creating your very own storybook. Simply tell the AI to craft a children's story for you. But before you do that from there, you can adjust the parameters to fit your vision. You can even write up to 15,000 characters without losing any of the story's content. That's a huge win, especially if you're aiming to write a longer tale. A common issue people face with ChatGPT is when they want to write a lengthy story, but this tool ensures your content remains intact. You also get to choose the age group you want to target. For us, it's ages three to five years. And when it comes to the story type, you have a wide range of options. Bedtime stories, fables, educational tales, and all of these. Next up is the writing style, which tells the AI how you want the story to sound and feel. Want it to be energetic and packed with action? Well, that's exactly what I'll go with for this example. And when it comes to the size, we'll choose one by one, which gives it more of a portrait feel. The other option is landscape, but let's stick with portrait for this one, okay? Now here is where you get to paste in your story idea or your story prompt. And over here are prompts to use if you can't come up with your own unique story idea, okay? And if you probably don't even like this prompt, you can always use the change feature to get more output. Now here is my prompt. The story idea is about a princess and a wicked witch. When you are ready, click generate. Then the magic begins. It may take a few moments, especially since our story is 5,000 characters long. But don't worry, the AI will craft an intriguing narrative that stays true to our prompt. Once the story appears, you will find it's beautifully written. Take a moment to read through it and appreciate the creativity. Easy, right? Now, be sure to copy this output into your notepad, sticky note, or whatever works for you. 
I will guide you on what to do with it later in this video, okay? Now when you are ready, click next to proceed. Now we're at the stage where you can edit the storyboard. Our protagonist is Princess Lova and um, with Leo as the side character. This text will be used to create your storyboard, okay? And remember the storyboard is the visual guide for how your picture book will unfold. So make sure you are happy with how each of the pages would look. Well, if you want to customize it further, you can ask ChatGPT to create storyboard prompts based on your script. Just use this prompt, period. And once ChatGPT generates it, copy the details onto each page. When you're ready, click the next button to continue. Here in this section, you'll find several image styles available for your image generation, okay? These styles are all beautiful options to choose from. Personally, I love the Pixar style, but it's important to select a style that best represents your story. For this tutorial, I'll be using the childlike drawing style. Keep in mind, you can only choose one style. Once you're ready, click Next to continue. Next, you'll have the opportunity to generate the characters of Princess Lova and her friend Leo. Before generating, make sure you're happy with the image prompt. I'll make all the necessary adjustments, and here's where you can decide how many images to generate at once. Now, let's generate the image and wait for it to render. Once it's ready, if you're not satisfied, you can always regenerate the image. Now let's create Leo's character. I'll also regenerate his image to make it even more stunning. And there we go. Now we have beautiful images of both characters, Lova and Leo. These images will be used by the AI for other scenes. When you're ready, click Next to proceed. Now the next you will want to do is um, start generating the scenes for each page. As you can see, there are already prompts here based on our storyboard and the characters that will appear on each page have already been set. So simply click the generate button and the AI will do its thing. But before you click generate, make sure you're happy with the image prompt. And if you are not, feel free to edit it as needed, okay? I prefer to generate four images at once because it gives me multiple options to choose from. All four images look great, don't they? Plus, the output quality is top-notch. However, we'll need to select just one, so. Once you have made your choice, click the Confirm button to finalize it. Of course, you can still change your mind if needed, okay? Now, go ahead and generate the rest of the scenes. Once you're done, click the Next button, which will take you to the final step of creating our picture book. For now, I'll finish the scenes off-camera to keep the video short, okay? And there you go. Now this is the crucial part, so make sure to pay close attention. You don't want to ruin all your hard work, right? Our picture book is almost ready, and this is the final step. Before we finish, I will really love to hear your thoughts in the comments about using Read Kids for creating picture books. It's super straightforward, and it consistently generates great characters too, and I will leave a link to the website in the description box for easy access, so be sure to click it and get started, okay? So here is what our picture book looks like so far, and here's the book cover. You can always change it if you don't like it, okay? You can either regenerate the image or upload your own graphics. Over here, you can use the image feature to customize your book with various elements like bubbles, Christmas, trees, and all of these. As shown, these are all Christmas-themed items you can use for a holiday book. You can also find patterns and decorations for aesthetic purposes. So feel free to experiment with all the features, okay? With the text feature, you get to add extra text to your scene. And there are several text styles here to bring your words to life, okay? So um, once you're done customizing your book before exporting the file and uploading it to Amazon, make sure your design hasn't crossed the bleed area, as this could cause Amazon KDP to reject your submission. Ensure all your text stays within the red lines. I'm just going to change the book cover font to something a little more funky. And um, I think this looks great. All right, I think we're good to go. 
Now, not only can you make money by selling your picture book on Amazon, but you can also share your stories on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram and get paid for that too. All you need to do is go over here and click on audio to add a voiceover for the story. Then click on the picture icon to choose your preferred voiceover artist. We have options like um, Noah, Oliver, Daniel, and all. You can click on the play icon to listen to each voice and select the one you like best. Welcome to Read Kids. We hope you'll create some masterpieces on this platform. Not bad. Let's try Noah. Welcome to Read Kids. We hope you'll create some masterpieces. Okay, we'll stick with Noah for this one. Next, check the box to generate your audio. You can select up to three at once, okay? Then click the Generate button and wait for it to process. Repeat this for all the pages to generate the audio. Once that's done, exit this page. And let's add background music to make it sound even more professional. You can choose from options like lively, romantic, mysterious, or soothing. For us, lively is the best choice. Nice. I love it. I will go with fun. Finally, if you want to get a preview of how everything sounds together, click present and there you have it. Princess Lova and the Power of Friendship Once upon a time, in a sparkling kingdom named Dreamland, there lived a kind-hearted princess named Lova. Princess Lova was no ordinary princess. She was known far and wide for her magical long hair. It flowed down her back like a river of light, and with a gentle flick, she could sum unfluffy clouds or brighten the darkest night. Princess Lova had three best friends, Leo the brave lion, Nia the cheerful bunny, and Finn the clever fox, every day. They explored the meadows of Dreamland, danced in the rainbow fields, and laughed. Together, they created a world filled with joy and love. The sun was always shining, and the air smelled sweet with flowers. Now that you have created this amazing picture book, you might want to upload it to Amazon as a PDF file. All you have to do is sign up for a seller account. And the best part? Getting started as a seller on Amazon KDP is completely free. You won't have to spend a dime, okay? Once you publish your book, it goes live on Amazon, and every time someone buys it, you'll earn money. Selling picture books on Amazon KDP can be very profitable. Now see how easy it is to create a picture book with Red Kids? Not only does it help you craft an engaging story, but it also ensures character consistency, which is a big plus for me. If you want to learn more about selling books on Amazon KDP, then you should check out my playlist on Amazon KDP tutorial. Now click the link in the description box to get started. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.